Yeah, you know, uh, we were playing cat and mouse. We were right there the whole time. But, uh, you know, Brian kind of had control of the race. He definitely had the power down the straights. And he was able to kind of control the race how it went. Every once in a while, we could sniff a draft if he spun it up and get by him. But it was tough. I mean, me, me and Jake were, uh, I remember one time Jake looked back and he right in the middle of the corner and threw a hand, his hand up in there like, come on. And we would give Brian the biggest run we could give him out of the corner. And right as you come out of the corner to try to draft by him, his bike would just grow big legs. And, um, you know, I knew as soon as that thing got off in second right behind Jake and I was third, I was just like, man, I got to deal with this Kawasaki again. Uh, if me and Jake might have been able to get one, two, we might have been able to tow each other through the corner quick enough and get away. But, you know, Brian did a great job. He won it on Harley last year. He won it on a Kawasaki this year. I guess uh, Sacramento took place. And, uh, you know, me and Jake were there just pick up the pieces, really. Well, it's going to be tough for the rest of the miles, for sure. The thing definitely uh, is a mile machine. and. Uh, it's tough. It's, uh, you know, water-cooled Kawasaki and, and Rick Howerton did a great job and hired a great rider for, uh, for the job. So congratulations to them guys. They really deserve it.